Good morning. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about recycling your water. It's uh, very inexpensive to do, and it's quite easier than you might think. Using a 26-gallon tank like this one, uh, you simply put your uh, washing machine evacuation hose into the top here. As you can see, I drilled out using this power drill. Simply drill it out. It's the only modification I made to the tank. I'll show you how this works in a minute. And the water pours in and flows out into your garden. It's a great way to conserve water in times of drought. It's a great way to conserve money. This system is very inexpensive. Total cost about $60. 50 for the tank, $10 for a garden hose, and you're on your way. All right, so let me show you how this thing works, and uh, hopefully I can convince you that uh, recycling and conserving water is easy, and we all know we need to do it, so let me go ahead and show you how it's done. So there's the water that's going to end up in the tank. When you have a washing machine like ours, you get 25 gallons to do the initial cleaning, and 25 gallons to rinse it and it's going to go into this tank over here right there and that's the tank that I was showing you uh, how easy it is to use all you need to make sure is is that you're defying gravity water always wants to go to its lowest point so this is up on blocks I'd say about uh, 10 inches and it definitely flows out of here pretty quick so here's the beginning of this operation. So here's the water flowing in. You can see how much water there is. All of that is going to be recycled. It goes right into this 26 gallon container and goes right outside on the hose. It's all gravity fed, no pumps, nothing. Um, this container was bought specifically because it was a brand new chemical uh, container. And because soap is a mild chemical, I figured if I buy this thing, it should last a lifetime. So there it goes. As you can see, the water level is about right here. And you need that 26 gallons in case, you know, uh, for whatever reason you have a kink in the hose, which you should always check. Make sure there's no kink in your hose. As you can see, here it is. And it's still got half the capacity. Uh, you just want to keep an eye on it in your initial check. And if you want it to flow faster, just raise it higher. And remember, this is on a pump system and it comes with almost every washing machine and so you could set it up higher and the water should pump right up into it and you get a faster flow but the flow for this is just fine so i'm going to take you now to where the hose is draining onto a plant that i want watered and i can move it anywhere with multiple connections you can send this water anywhere you want i'm following out this copper colored hose to where the water is coming out. In the end, it pays for itself. It takes maybe six months to pay for itself in water, but you're really, really helping to conserve. Anywhere where you have a drought, this is a great, simple plan. And there it is, water coming out. And by the way, we use organic soaps. Uh, you can purchase those at any store. Uh, so we, you know, feel that we're doing a really good job with this and I'm very happy with the results. Okay, so I decided to, you know, to look at the hard numbers on this water recycling system that uh, I've been using. So here we go. Each load of laundry requires 50 gallons of water times 7 loads a week times 52 weeks in a year. The equivalent of 18,200 gallons of water is being conserved or recycled here. It's gray water, it's safe water. And for heaven's sakes, if you're in a drought situation, you understand how important water is. And it could also be that your water is expensive. You know, if that's a, a penny a gallon, how much does that come out to be? $182. My angel trumpet has benefited greatly from our water recycling system. Being a tropical plant, this beauty requires water. We now feel comfortable giving her what she wants. This is the best she has ever looked in July when the weather is hot. 